Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the third part two episode number 153 and 155 reaction and these two are the final episodes that has been recommended to me from season two and uh, I thought this was a good like you know place to uh, stop reacting to season two uh, because season three is left and I'm going to do season three in a similar fashion as well. Now, before we start, um, I did this in like, you know, when I ended season one as well, I'm, and I'm going to do this again, uh, like what I'm going to do from the next season that is like, you know, that is next week is that comment down below, uh, each person can comment and recommend me two episodes from season three and, um, like total, I'll take how many, like, uh, eight you know eight people's recommendations i'm going to take just like how i did season two that means i'm going to take total 16 episodes recommendations so you know like you can recommend any uh, episode from season three and i'm going to react to them now this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to react to uh, like you know the episodes not chronologically but by person like if you are like you know if you have like recommended me two episodes i'm going to do those two episodes in one day and then the next person i'm going to do it like this so it'll be a lot more easier to keep track of the episodes and num the number of people who are actually recommending me episodes it'll be easier to keep track so that's what i'm going to do so comment down below and i'm going to take the first eight recommendations i don't even know how many people will recommend uh season two uh, a lot of people recommended you know like i think uh, seven people uh and yeah i'm quite happy about that and i was able to get like a lot of episodes to react to so similarly uh recommend me two episodes uh every person and uh, yeah i'm going to react to them start reacting to them from uh, the next uh, week so that's uh, just what i wanted to tell you guys and i'll do that like you know as i said i'm going to do season three in a similar fashion to season two and after i finish recommending uh <laughs> finish re uh, reacting to all the episodes that have been recommended to uh, me by you guys uh it'll take two months most probably if eight person recommends me you know two episodes uh eight person that means you know like four four like two months um so i will start obviously season four and uh, yeah that's what i'm going to do so recommend me episodes and uh, yeah i'll react to them uh, by person like every person two episodes uh, i'm going to recommend uh, react to them every day weekly and yeah anyway so yeah recommend me stuff and um yeah so that's it that's for the <laughs> like you know what i'm going to do from the next episode so definitely recommend you know like i don't have anything to react to the next week so otherwise i won't be able to react to anything so at least like, you know, one or two people definitely recommend so yeah all right enough enough about that um let's get started with these two episodes the previous two episodes that i reacted to were one of the best episodes i have to say especially one uh, 50, uh 45 yeah uh the other one which was 148 was also really good because i loved as i said i loved the whole thing of like you know like the bank robbery thing and they like really went into it very seriously instead of the usually like you know like comedic approach they take and I loved that the whole like you know like thing the whole bank robbery and everything was really like you know like en like entertaining and interesting and it had a little twist in the end like you know Fujiko actually loses she doesn't get anything <laughs> and uh, yeah that was uh, that episode and 145 was fantastic it was uh, one of my favorite uh, I I like you know Rupan episodes because uh, like you know everyone kind of got involved in the whole thing it was like uh, huge like you know like thing at a huge scale was happening like like stuff related to nuclear bombs and stuff and uh, another thing that i loved about it was um fujiko being more involved in the story usually she doesn't get much involved and we really saw like in a very cool side to fujiko in that episode and another thing that i loved about that episode was that um the art style i loved the art style that that was like a really cute art style and um yeah these were like you know the things that i loved about that episode and obviously it's a, a miyazaki episode so <laughs> obviously it was, it was definitely going to be one of my favorites and uh, yeah it was really good so today's episodes are going to be that i'm going to be reacting to now is 153 and 155 i'll react to 153 first then 155 and again as i said uh 155 i think yeah it is a miyazaki episode 
and it, it's also one of the like you know one of the greatest episodes i've heard of uh season two like 145 and 155 i've heard are really good and since i love 145 i'm sure i love 155 as well so yeah anyways let's start so 140 uh, 153 reaction let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Okay. <clears throat> ICPO safe. Okay. So, what's oh boy, a lot of money. <laughs> then you got that face. Wait, what? Oh really? Okay. All right. Hmm. Obviously, Rupan is going to come. So. Haha. <laughs> then Gata's like, yeah, that makes it better. <laughs> Oh, the... All right. <laughs> wow, that was quite... What? <laughs> he Rupa knew he was going to throw it in the... The bills that came from God. What? <laughs> Roll, let's watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, everyone's ready. Okay, let's get it. Nice. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, that car. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Wow, what? <laughs> Great. Hmm. Oh, really? Then what should we do? Wait, what? <laughs> what type of medicine is that? Wait, what? 
Oh, is he going to get nauseous or something? And no, I don't know. What? Oh, okay, okay, makes sense. I understand what it is. <laughs> it's a laxative, I'm guessing. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's why he's going to open it. Do okay. No. Oh no. Uh, if 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 it like you know shakes or something. Oh my god, it's it's over for Zenigata. If if the car shakes. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh my god, look at Is this Ah oh, <laughs> this is a trap. This is a trap. It is a trap. Like what type of a toilet is that? <laughs> what is this? I'm guessing Fujiko is in there, probably waiting. And... <laughs> He's so happy, look at him. <laughs> he forgot for a moment. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we got the money. Oh my god, Fujiko's going to come. She'll try something. She'll try something. Oh my god, I feel like, yeah. Oh my god, I feel like she's going to try something again. Yo, this reminded me of those GTA missions, you know, like <laughs> You take a car somewhere and the helicopter comes and picks it up Like obviously, great But, let's see I, I, I thought like Rupan already anticipated this, so he has some kind of plan Let's go! Yes! Okay, it's going to rain money now or something? There you go. <laughs> uh. Oh! Okay, the subtitles are a little bit wrong, but I can understand, you know, like, I kind of understand Japanese. They, they were saying something else. Like, they were talking about, like, uh, like, like, Goemon should have just cut the car down itself, uh, instead of just bringing the pile down, because now they'll have to carry it off. Oh no, they're going to find the trail. Okay. <laughs> Zenigata will be like <laughs> Oh my god Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Both will lose our jobs. Oh no, he's, he's, he's still under the effect. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, if the toilet is occupied, what's going to happen? <laughs> Fine. I feel like the toilet will be occupied or something. Oh no, never mind. Checkpoint seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, I think he's picking it up. There you go. Okay, I thought they were going to find the trail of the money, but uh, going on went and picked it up. Oh, Fujiko doesn't even know that the money is missing, you know? <laughs> he doesn't want to do these type of petty jobs. It's again. Oh, no. Um. Wait, is this? Is this? Oh, someone else. I thought it was that nun, you know, in one of those previous episodes, you remember? What? Oh, oh she's thinking that, okay. <laughs> she's thinking that they're here for the job, like, you know, the construction job or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? I, I, I. I I haven't uh, like no, agreed to this. It's God's work. <laughs> okay. Uh, is he going to throw it down? Like, oh my God! <laughs> wow. Okay, he's going to okay. I really hope it doesn't get. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> and look at us. We also did the help with the construction. We did a good, good deed, you know. <laughs> oh, but the. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that doesn't happen this time. Oh my god. Yeah, they took a little bit extra time. Ah, but they're in disguise, so... <laughs> really? He could have just, like, you know, told them into, like, give them some false lead. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem. What are we going to do now? Oh.
Oh no. Oh no. Since I got that, it's impossible. Wow, she's really. <laughs> Took with this guy for a second. <laughs> Quick, put it on. <laughs> oh no, it's still going to search. Oh, open the disguise. Ah. Sister will be like, no, how can I say that? There you go. She's like, how dare you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay I, I really think she doesn't like I, I was first thinking maybe she is like you know she knows that they're like you know thieves but maybe she doesn't she's really like you know believing them Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hide. <laughs> because of sister, yeah. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Behind. <laughs> yeah, like they're going to act as if they're really like you know constructors and construction workers, and the police will leave after a few. I think that's their, his plan. This is a waiting game. Oh boy, but what, 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 about, what about the money? Where is it? They're going to search the whole village. Oh wow, wait, what? How is this possible? Oh no. I feel like there's some kind of trick. She, he didn't let her put on the glasses. It's probably like a prop or something. And since she's not... <laughs> she's not wearing the glasses. It's a prop. I feel like it's a prop. Or, or who knows? Let, let me... Wait, it's... is this not a prop? John. <laughs> what? What, what's their plan? I am not... Wait, so what did they do then? Oh, I think... Oh, the, the, the money, like, did they hide it?
Oh, no bullets left. Oh damn, going on, just standing there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my... <laughs> oh, is it sleeping? <laughs> they just simplified the car. Wait, what about the money then? Is that... Is it still in the church? <laughs> I won't see any dreams of toilets. I think that's what he said. Yeah. Okay, so. Fujiko <laughs> just. Yeah. God knows, okay. Oh no! Oh no, I feel like it's... Yeah, it... it's probably in the church somehow. And he's afraid that it might just get blown away or something. Or get wet. Okay, it's not a prop, then... Is the building made of money or something? Like, how? It is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, the sister will come and sister will be like, Oh god has given us such, like, you know, like, blessings or something. She's going to say something like that. <laughs> She'll be like, no, this is, oh my god. <laughs> I knew it, she was gonna say that. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Just... Wow. You know what, what, what the really good moral of this story is? If we actually keep believing, you know, in God or like, you know, in something, you know, you are going to get what you deserve. Like here, for example, this, 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 you know, this sister, she, from the beginning of the episode, completely we had faith in Rupan and his crew, didn't even suspect them, thought like, you know, was such a wholesome character. She was like, oh, everything is for the greater good. Everything is like, you know, it's God's um you know gift to us and she she she's like full like you know, she has full faith in in god and like and, and the other people around him her and everything and you know like that's the reason why she kept believing kept believing and in the end of it like through like you know some like you know trick of fate uh like you know she she was able to uh get so much money and this is definitely going to help her out for, with the church and a lot of other things as well so yeah like that's that's a really nice moral of this story like like what do you call it like keep uh god helps those who help themselves you can say i guess yeah this, this can be applied here no no not necessarily this can be applied here but uh something like keep believing and you know good things are going to come or something like that maybe i don't know if that's a like saying or something or I just made it up <laughs> but something along those lines like keep believing and like you know good days are surely going to come and uh, yeah she kept believing she kept her faith and in the end she she like you know it's like a miracle she she get she gets so much like you know help and in, in such an unexpected way <laughs> like neither Rupan gets it nor the police force gets it she like you know she gets it and she's i'm sure she's definitely going to use this for the church maybe help a lot of other people as well you know like she seems like that type of a person and uh, yeah so 
what a, what a nice ending you know like all the all the time i kind of like you know kind of support for rupan and was is like yeah like let rupan get the money because obviously you know fujiko always screws them over like you know 99% of the times fujiko just like betrays them and screws them over but you know like that's why i usually like support rupan and his crew uh but this time i'm i'm happy that this is like you know this outcome happened and you know like neither rupan gets it nor the police nor fujiko but you know a person who really needed it got the money all right so uh, this episode it was a really nice episode like such a wholesome ending and okay it starts with <laughs> it starts with zenigata being like uh, like you know the police uh, chief being like all right so these are the money that uh, we have got from arrests and we are we are going to uh, send like you know kind of uh, transfer this to the bank so yeah you will be the guard and as always since zenigata like you know like obviously since zenigata is involved in this rupan is definitely going to get involved in it somehow um usually it's vice versa here but this time you know like zenigata was appointed first and uh, rupan like actually sends his uh, message later on i guess but uh, but yeah i guess he already had plans in like you know getting it so rupan is like all right pops i'm going to get get the money get like you know be ready <laughs> and uh, yeah they are just waiting in the like you know in the in the point and as always jigen uses his amazing sniper skills to just pop the tires they get in the car start following it and zenigata is like oh you cannot get this this time because i'm inside here and i won't leave unless and until you know you guys you know like get arrested so <laughs> zenigata pops <laughs> No, not saying that. Uh, Jigen, Jigen pops a laxative. I think I, I'm guessing that's a laxative pill, just into his face, like mouth. <laughs> like it basically was possible because Zenigata was laughing like a madman in front of them, just mouth full open, just ha 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 laughing, and <laughs> just, he just shoots the a pill in in his mouth. And oh boy, yeah, obviously, like this is something that. Like he like like props to him I guess you can say he was able to control himself for quite a long time he was just like yeah I am not moving from here and I definitely am not going to move from here even if I am like you know close to just uh, soiling myself but then <laughs> by the end of it he was like nah I need to get out <laughs> somehow and like <laughs> in the middle of the um what is that like the road. Just like a like weird. Was that a real thing or was that like actually put by Lupin? I don't know. Like, like, like the toilet. I feel like it was some kind of a yeah. It was probably just set by Lupin. Lupin probably calculated. He was like, all right, like this is the amount of time it's going to he they're going to take to come here. Jigen is going to pop the laxative pill within this amount of time, so it'll take a little bit of time for it to work. And since pops is. So stubborn, he's probably going to just hold into it for a few, like you know, minutes as well. So calculating all of this, I should probably put the toilet thing over here at this distance. And I'm guessing he did it something like that. And this, this is definitely not like not an actual toilet. This was probably put by Lupin there, you know, like because the whole thing was kind of like a cardboard cutout with the toilet was being the only real thing in there. So. Yeah, it, it was probably put by Rupan and his crew. Yeah, definitely, because th there was only one stall, which was like a male stall, no female stall. So it, it was definitely put by Rupan and his crew. <laughs> and <laughs> Zenigata is like, uh, like, I feel like this is a trap, but I cannot stop. She just goes out and like, you know, just goes into the toilet like does his job and comes out and he's like rupan you made a mistake have you seen this and we could see the 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 chained um handcuffs and rupan is like yeah i know but like watch what happens and he just drives off with the car and the, the whole cardboard cutout just falls over like i i like i like obviously i feel like zenigata probably just mistook the whole thing as like an actual building that's why he <laughs> He just like tied the handcuff to that, in, like you know, he did not realize it was a cardboard cutout. And, and the reason behind it is probably because he was so like you know like just 
you know, like he, he just had to hurry in the toilet. And at that moment, I feel like he, his brain wasn't working properly. He just was like hurriedly just tied the handcuff into the thing without even noticing it was a cardboard cutout and just gets in. <laughs> and yeah, Rupan tricks him and the whole thing falls down. Now, here's the thing. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> I knew as, as soon as I saw Fujiko coming with a helicopter, I'm like, yeah, she's going to try to pull something. And as always, like, you know, she does that. And <laughs> you know, the, the funny thing about this, um, in season one, like I've like I, I've seen the entirety of season one and in most of the situations, you know, all the time, Fujiko tricks Rupan, betrays him in the end. And <clears throat> Rupan doesn't like, you know, isn't able to realize that up until the final point, you know, he always gets tricked and, you know, like just betrayed. And uh, after getting betrayed, he realizes that, yeah, she tricked me. She pulled the wool over me. But I feel like in season two, especially like you know, this episode and even one of the previous episodes, the, the, the previous week that I reacted to 148, I think, yeah, there as well. We can see that Rupan is actually like, you know, anticipating Fujiko's betrayal now. Like it feels like he's actually <laughs> learning from his mistakes. In season one, he always used to get fooled by Fujiko. Now he's actually kind of like, you know, just uh, like, what do you call it? Just, just responding back and tricking her instead sometimes so this time as well he he knew like this was coming <laughs> chicken is like what the hell like like i told you not to believe her and lipon is rupan is like yeah i know that and we see goemon just standing there uses the sword to cut off cut it off and the whole like you know the the bunny falls down <laughs> And uh, like, you know, it was a little bit of inconvenience after that, obviously, because now we have to take the money and like, you know, like carry it somewhere. And <clears throat> they, they prepared a cart <laughs> with hay. And no, at first there, were, uh, there was not even any hay. They were just like, just transporting the money just like that in the open. <laughs> oh boy. But... <laughs> yeah, and then Yatha is getting, uh, you know, like just reprimanded. The the police uh, chief is like, "What the hell are you doing? This is all like, you know, like we're going to lose our jobs, this and that." And then Yatha is like, "All right, I'm I'm going to listen to your complaints. Let me go to the toilet first. <laughs> okay, so now the second part of the episode starts, and it's interesting. Like at first, I thought this nun was like, um, you know, like the sister was. I don't know, um, maybe she realized these people were thieves and she's deliberately kind of acting as if she doesn't understand anything. You know, because in uh, one of the previous episodes that I reacted to, there was a similar situation like this, where there was that girl, rem remember, who tricked Rupan uh, by the end of it and who had like multiple boyfriends, that, that episode. <laughs> I thought it was going to be not something like that but i thought maybe the the, the the sister will be also be someone like that or something like that and but turns out she was really like you know, a nice person from the beginning she she never doubted them and she always kept her belief in god and that's why in the end she she gets like you know like a miracle a miracle happens right so uh Ruban is like oh we are doing the construction job here uh, no, sorry, Ruban uh, like, tries to get the truck while the, the sister like, uh, uh, mistakes them for people who were here to do the construction. <laughs> and Ruban is like, all right, let's, let's just play along for now. You know, we need the truck. So yeah, let's just do the construction. And they're just doing it. And the, the sister was very happy. She was like, ah, oh, what nice people, like, you know, uh, uh, doing God's work here and without expecting anything anything back <laughs> and when they get the chance they take the truck and just uh, you know like just use the the hay to like it puts it in there and go goes off with the thing now the interesting conversation here happens where Goemon and no go not Goemon sorry Jigen and Rupan actually talks about God and say like you know Rupan says like oh this is something like you know we're taking from God and then uh, Jigen is like yeah I've or not always like you know, I, I don't even like you know like to do these type of things uh, no he says something like that like what, what does he say 
Okay, just a sec. Like, this is an interesting conversation because... Where is it? Okay. Rupan says, like, uh, yeah, even if you're not around, God will help her. <laughs> Which kind of turns out to be true by the end of it, you know? God does help her. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. He says, Jigen says, I've, I hate this God business. <laughs> Rupan's like me as well. Uh, as punishment from heaven, right? And funny thing, in the end, it actually, like, you know, like, it's not a punishment from heaven, but Rupan, basically, Rupan and his crew basically loses all the money. Because, you know, like, they actually, if you think of it this way, they actually tricked a person, a, a, like, a sister who wholeheartedly believed in them and thought that they're doing this from the good of their hearts and for, they thought that, yeah, these people are doing God's work. They actually stole from her. So, like, you know, like, like, and them talking about it like this, and then, like, you know, in the end, we see really, like, it, it happens. God actually, you can say, punishes them, but by not, like, you know, letting them get the money. It actually works out in the sister's favor. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, now they are going to, and this is like a checkpoint. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> they put the disguise on, and Jigen is like, all right, I'm going to like, you know, uh, search the, <laughs> search the, search the, the back. Okay, this is a funny con conversation happens here. <laughs> Zenigata shows the um, picture and Jigen is like, oh, like this is like a monkey that we used to have. <laughs> it always used to do like, you know, like kind of uh, mess around and Rupan just, <laughs> just hits him. Oh boy. Okay, so Zenigata goes to the back, tries to search, but in comes the sister, and she's like, "Oh, what are you doing? This is the church, like you know, like the truck, a uh, church, a uh, church's truck." And <laughs> she goes to like you know Rupan, like you know Rupan is like, "Oh, we are just here to you know like just get some materials from here, and we we'll, we're, we're going to come back." And <laughs> I like the fact that Rupan used a comic book to just hide his face, opened the disguise and just looked at, like, you know, talked with the sister and then as soon as uh, Jigen came and uh, Zenigata came in, he just put on the disguise. And now, here's the thing, again, the nun, like, you know, the, the sister wholeheartedly believes him. Like, like if, there was, if this was some other person, they would have probably thought that, oh, like, I don't believe him. You know, like, maybe he, he decided to steal it. But the sister... Uh, believed just just as soon as he said that the sister just believed him and she's like uh, no this is like you know like these people are good people they are like you know like they're doing God's job and Zenigata's like nah, I'm going to search here because you, you, you've heard of Rupan the devil you know maybe there's something like you know here and <laughs> the sister's like I don't wish any unbeliever to touch anything here and just shuts him, him down completely and like, yeah, like, she's like, like, just, and, okay, this, this part as well, she's like, when Zenigata says, like, uh, Rupan is like the devil, she's like, no, there's no evil man here. Like, what, what wholehearted belief, just, just by one, like, you know, just, just in one word, when Rupan said that, oh, we are here just to get some materials, she believed him wholeheartedly and stop them from actually harassing them <laughs> and so now here's the thing they go back to the church and all the police are keeping an eye out on like you know them and Rupan and they are like what are we going to do we need to hide the money and get out of here but what are we going to do where, where should I put, put the money and Rupan is like oh we are good people here we have come to build the church so that's what we are going to do and okay so again he like you know Rupan again tricks tries to trick the sister while the sister wholeheartedly is believing him continuously you know and like God like you know God really shows later on like well like you know like just just like you know Rupan gets screwed over by the end of it and this really shows that God like you know helped the sister out when the sister like you know had full faith in Rupan and all of them 
and didn't even suspect them in any way or manner, you know. And while Lupin was just tricking her, you know, like God was like, yeah, I'm going to show you. <laughs> and that's what happens. So in the morning, I really was confused at this moment, you know. I was like, what are they doing? How did the church suddenly get built by in an overnight? And I first I thought it was a prop. I was thinking maybe it's a prop or something, you know. And since the sister did not have her glasses on, he was saying like, oh, don't put the glasses on because if he put the glasses on, she would probably see. And like, you know, the, the trick would be over. I thought that was what they were doing. I didn't realize it was actually the money that they used to build the roof. And like okay that that's also the reason why they said like don't open like you know put on the glasses like you know they, they stopped her from doing that because i'm guessing if she, they put on the glasses she'd probably see that it was money there you know like painted money <laughs> so she's like oh we did our job you know and they like, you know they'll they just run away uh like as soon as like zenigata's people come in they just run away i one thing i really don't understand here is where is it like this part like he tells the sister to bless them or i i don't understand this part what was the significance of that like uh goemon says uh, that rupan we shouldn't waste time rupan is like excuse me we're in a hurry but please bless this place and the sister says of course let's begin then and she tries to get in. Rupan stops her. She's like, he's like, sister, what is your name? Uh, the sister's like, my name is Johanna, and you are? And he obviously just, uh, like, you know, kind of uh, sidesteps that. Now, I don't understand the reason behind Rupan's actions here. First of all, what, what was she, he was trying, what was he trying to say by, like, saying, like, bless this place? What was the significance of that? Another thing I don't understand why he asked for her name. Like, was it just because he thought that oh, the, like you know, this lady is really nice. That's why I like I want to know her name. Is that the reason why? I feel like maybe that's the reason why because you know, like I'm sure Rupan himself realized that yeah, like this is one of the really genuine kind people. So maybe I should know her name. Like, and ask for her name. Maybe it was because of that. I'm guessing. Uh, so I don't know. Like or maybe it's something else but yeah she asks her name and they run away and uh, yeah they like you know then the, the whole like you know chase scene happens the car you know goemon uses his you know sword slashes the car in half and they use that <laughs> and pops up the like you know sleeping pill in uh, zenigata's mouth he falls asleep and uh, yeah they are back in their base and fujiko's also there fujiko's like oh where's the money and Lupin is like, ah, it's there, no problem. And oh boy, the storm or the rain starts falling. <laughs> Lupin is like, oh my god, like this is going to be a mess now. And yeah, the the pain falls off completely. And I really was not expecting the roof to be used, like can actually may, be made by money. When the rain started falling, I, I realized it then. I was like, oh, it's probably something like that. Like the, the roof of the building is probably made of money and it's painted or something. And yeah that's what happens and <clears throat> there you go i knew this was going to happen the next day the uh, uh, sister is like oh this is god's gift to us and <laughs> and zenigata's like 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 she, she, zenigata's like sister please this is actually money for our department like you know we need this otherwise we'll lose our jobs and the sister is like no i like you know this this is this is god's miracle this is god's gift for helping us <laughs> and uh, yeah and, and then like you know zenigata starts screaming but she's just looking at the building and i i doubt rupan got the money back i probably the sister took it and you know like probably put it in a bank or something something like that she did and she's probably going to like you know rebuild the church you know like make like you know like, like do good things after this and yeah i'm really glad she's the one who got the money in the end because she was a really wholesome person and god saw to it that yeah she she gets rewarded by the end of it and yeah that's what happens and uh, i'm i'm very glad about this uh, outcome that was a really wholesome ending
so yeah that was it that was episode one for uh 153 yeah let's start with the final episode of uh rupan the third uh part two and this, this obviously is the final episode for from season two that i'm going to react to this is 155 uh, episode 155 reaction so yeah I've, I've heard this is really good so let's see so yeah let's get started then i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Okay. Nineteen eighty one, Tokyo. What the hell is that? Is that an airplane? No. Um I feel like these things yeah it kind of looks like a humanoid oh my god what oh no <laughs> okay that's not the gate that's the window Oh, is it here to do? Yeah, it's here to rob the bank. Uh, what is this? No, jewelry store. What? I doubt this is something that Rupan has. <laughs> he was trying to cover it. I doubt this is Rupan's doing. This is someone else, most probably. Oh. oh my god wow You need the army to stop this. I don't think normal. What the hell? What is that? Calling card? Oh my god, someone's again, again posing as Rupan. Farewell, my beloved Rupan. Oh, okay, that's an interesting. I doubt that. Ruban never uses stuff like that, you know.
Wait, what? Wait, really? I was not expecting that. Wait, who's this? Maki. Lambda. Wait, have I seen? Who is this girl? This is definitely not Rupan. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's true. We need to. They're going to destroy it. The subtitles are a bit, a bit wrong. Yeah, they're going to destroy it. They're like, yeah, we don't have any choice. New weapon that Armin is going to test. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> she's going to the army department. Oh, this is that girl. Against the army. Maki, okay, that's the girl. Okay. <laughs> Zenigata? You're in front of the chief. <laughs> wow. Oh no, is that act is that Rupan? Oh, I feel like that's Rupan. That's why he was sitting. Makes sense. He was sitting on the desk, you know, because he forgot that he was actually in disguise. That's Rupan in disguise. These people are in Rupan's disguise. Yeah, these are fake. Oh boy. But the girl is inside it, you know, like if they have decided to destroy it, the girl might get involved. Maki, that was his, her name, I think. Zenigata, now is your time to shine. <laughs> uh. Yo, there's traffic. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 you people, what the hell is... I guess when, like, you know, like a robot is threatening your city. Oh, there it is. Oh no. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, nothing happened. There you go. You probably just killed a few people over there. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, what the hell is wrong with the army here? Like, they just... Like, I understand you need to stop it, but not like this, you're killing innocent people here. What the hell? What? 
What is happening? They're just shooting in the middle of the city with... Ah... Uh. My God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, the army is crazy. What's happening? Oh, that's a fake one. Hmm. <laughs> then you gotta suspect something. Oh damn! Oh, he, he's not even getting off. <laughs> Look at this guy. I feel like Zenigata would be able to realize this is not actually Rupan and his crew. Oh wait, they're gone. Oh. Ah. Yeah. We still have not seen that. I think uh, the Zenigata was in disguise in that part. That was Rupan. But we're still not seeing the actual Lupin. Papa. Yeah, that's... Who is this guy? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, he recognizes her. <laughs> no sugar. Wait, so I'm guessing they're actually tricking her, like they said something about... Oh boy. Ah. They said something about doing this for the world or something? That's true. What did they tell her? Like... Okay. Yeah, but he didn't want it to be used for the army, so... Damn, Lambda is just like a, like a prototype or something. That's what, oh my god, this girl. What? But like this? Okay. Come on, I, I'm sure Zenigata will realize this is not Rupan. He's like, ha, 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 you're a fake one. I can see through your disguise. <laughs> oh, really?
<laughs> oh. That's why he said dad makes sense. Yeah. God damn. Ah, uh, great. Ah. Uh. What are those? Dynamites? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what? Is Rupan actually hiding here somewhere? And maybe Zenigata himself is going to... What the hell? Okay. Is he dislocating his shoulder or no? Oh, yeah, I think, oh no, not enough time. God damn. Okay, he somehow got it out. Oh boy. Yo, what the? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. But we don't even have any parachutes. What are we supposed to do? Oh no, that was Rupan from the beginning. I knew, I thought at that moment he was, I knew that was Rupan. But after that, I thought it was really Zenigata. Oh my god, he got me. Alright, he got me. <laughs> I feel like Zenigal is going to come in here and actually arrest them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Underground? <laughs> what? Wow. He's out. <laughs> Is that Fujiko? Oh, it's just recording everything. <laughs> she recorded everything for proof. So that they have some kind of <laughs> the real one. The actual Jigen is here, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, but you don't have the... His skill. Oh! Yeah!
<laughs> the makeup is. You fool. Idiots. It's time for you, Papa, to just what? Oh, God. They probably just disabled it or something. It's going to grab him, I think. Ah! Yeah, it's going to grab him. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Just trying to find him. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it's just gone crazy. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's Maki. Control circuit. And there you go. Okay, it's called Sigma, this one. And these are the like perfected one I'm guessing, yeah. That one's Lambda and this one is Sigma. My god. <sighs> Zen got us here now. Okay, there you go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh what, what's this i've never heard this full full song this one <laughs> all right there you go And yep, that's the end. Okay. So. Wow, this was a really good one. Oh boy, I, I really genuinely got tricked. You know what, like, the, the funny thing here is I actually realized that was Rupan, you know, Zenigata. And then in that scene where he just, you know, just sat down on the chair in front of the chief. I, I knew that was Rupan and there. But then the later Zenigata that we saw, I really did not think that was Rupan. I was, I, I myself was even saying that, oh, like we saw Rupan for a moment there, but then we are not seeing him anymore. So maybe he's going to come in the end or something. And I genuinely did not realize that the second Zenigata we saw was also Rupan in disguise. And I, like, <laughs> like that, that really <laughs> caught me when he jumped on the, like, you know, uh, the, the, the airplane or whatever, La Lambda, yeah, Lambda jumped on it and then when he like you know kind of looks at Maki and I'm like wait a minute this doesn't look like Zeniga who is this and then I realize it's Rupan I'm like oh you got me <laughs> 
he, he got me in the end you know i i i was able to understand the trick at the beginning i understood that he was in disguise but then i thought that that was the original zenigata but no that was also rupan <laughs> i was not expecting that that caught me off guard okay this episode um here we start with um a weird um flying machine just getting like you know in, inside a bank not bank sorry a jewelry store and robbing it and just like you know just getting all the stuff the uh, jewels and the money as well they just grabbed it comes out you know kind of just uses some oh scatters scatters the call card like that now here's the thing where i like obviously i realized from the begin kind of i had a like you know hint uh, not hint but i had a feeling that this was something that was like you know like uh like you know this would be something that other people would take rupan's disguise and do this using his name and using his fame they're going to try to blame it on him it's going to be something like that and it got confirmed when the the whole thing scattered you know the, the lambda scattered the cards now here's the in interesting thing about rupan that i've always like you know kind of noticed rupan is the type of person who always um first announces his like you know visit he if he if he's supposed to like you know give a call card he does it in the beginning he he gives the call card then does the stuff he never goes robs a place and then like you know give a call card or does something like that that in itself like you know like going and robbing the place and then then like introducing yourself and being like oh there you go this is my name that in itself shows that it's fake no one would do that rupan always gives a call card in the beginning if someone goes does the job robs the bank and then gives a call card that would mean that that person is probably a fake trying to use rupan's name and trying to put the blame on him that's why after robbing the bank they're giving the call card that that's that's like the ultimate proof you need to actually understand whether uh, someone is the real rupan or the fake rupan like all the other like you know um, episodes that i've seen wherever there's someone who tries to impersonate rupan does the same thing they first do the job rob the bank do whatever then gives the notice and that in itself is a big giveaway he like you know <laughs> this thing he, he lambda robs the place and then gives out the call card and i'm like yeah obviously this is a fake one but i was tricked even after that a little bit because then we see in the uh, news rupan coming and rupan is like oh like you know this is something that military manufactures and we are going to show the world that this is something so dangerous so unless and until some like you know the police does something about this we're going to keep stealing and show keep showing the people that yeah these things are so dangerous and and then we kind of shift back to like you know rupan's crew where rupan is just sitting and and he's like and jigen goemon everyone is there and then this girl maki comes and i you know i was like wait a minute what's happening here like this these people kind of look like rupan and his crew but then still I, I i still thought like okay maybe they are in disguise but you know what thing really threw me off i really thought this this was actual lupan the way he talked when maki comes in the way he talks and he says like oh we need a strain like you know the way rupan kind of like you know says like you know like kind of in a very weird and in a very like you know playful manner calls other people like uh here she says maki chan in a in a, in a very weird way you, 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 you see, you've seen other like him do, doing this to other people as well like especially uh, people who she he is like you know especially females and people who he's close with uh, for example fujiko he does this a lot to fujiko kind of calls fujiko in a weird way like fujiko chan kind of like this kind of like you know just drags the thing uh the way he speaks and he does the same thing here as well this threw me completely off i'm like wait a minute is this is this the real lupan we're seeing because like impersonating someone is something but actually impersonating someone's way of speaking it's a in a league of its own and i that that part really threw me off i'm like okay so am i wrong 
is this the real Lupin and he has some other plan or something? But then, you know, like when and after everything happens, they kind of show him kind of smirking in a very menacing manner. That's when I, I, I realized that, ah, like, nah, I'm wrong. This is not the actual Lupin. This is a fake one. I was correct in the beginning. Like the way he spoke really threw me off at that moment because for a moment that I really thought that was the actual Lupin. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, like then it was confirmed, like the way he kind of smiles after that, you know, like when Maki goes away, Maki's like, uh, why are we doing this? And uh, Lupin's like, oh, we're definitely doing this because, you know, we're going to show everyone how this is dangerous. And we're doing this for the world, for the peace of the world or whatever, he, like, you know, <laughs> crap he just uh, spews out at that moment. And Maki's like, all right, he she takes Lambda and just goes away. And then we see that smile, the, you know, that that's that that's that <laughs> villain smile he smiles that's when i realized like yeah this is definitely not rupan this is someone in disguise and uh, okay now <laughs> then we go to zenigata you know like zenigata comes in and he's like the kind of the police chief is there as well uh he kind of asks about the you know like the um what do you call it the robot and everything and when <laughs> when the police chief is like oh this is something that rupan is doing then he like definitely not this is not rupan's doing at all now i thought that he like you know like i i was just saying that okay zenigata would definitely recognize and since he says that i'm like there you go zenigata recognizes but later on as i like you know see the scene i actually realize that is actually not zenigata but actually rupan in Zenigata's disguise because you know he kind of says that and but you know what even if it was the actual Zenigata here I, I think he would probably say it in the same manner he would say like oh this is definitely not Rupan Rupan doesn't do it like this uh like even if like Rupan was here obviously he would like you know <laughs> he would say these words because he's not the one who's doing it so since Rupan was in Zenigata's disguise he said it but I feel like if the original Zenigata was here he would also say the same thing but yeah okay so then we see the um the 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 the, the photograph of the, the the professor i don't remember his name, her name his name and his daughter maki and they're talking and like you know the police chief talks about oh another oh my god this this part i kind of missed you know this part i really missed i'm i'm realizing it now when i'm like going back and looking through this part here, Zenigata says, and this cutie, I, I mean, this girl is, you know, this part. I really did not, like, not <laughs> catch this part when I was reacting to it. But this is, this is a big giveaway that this is Lupin. This is not Zenigata. Like, Lupin is the one who kind of does it like this. And it did, I kind of felt a little bit odd. I was like, why is Zenigata talking like this? But at, at that moment, I did not realize. But a moment later, I actually realized that was Zenigata because the thing that actually gave him away, at least to me, was he suddenly sits on top of the <laughs> chair, no, the table, like in a weird way. And uh, <laughs> the chief is like, what the hell are you doing? Step down. <laughs> and then he goes like, oh, sorry, sorry. And just steps down. I'm like, what, what, this is the police chief. You're, you're disrespecting him. And then it clicks. I'm like, oh god, this is Rupan in disguise. This is not Zenigata. <laughs> like, <laughs> this scene made me realize. The previous scene was also a big giveaway when he kind of, like, you know, miss, like, you know, says, like, oh, who's this cutie? And then corrects himself and says, like, oh, who's this girl? That was also a big giveaway, but I did not realize that. But this scene made me realize that this was actually, <laughs> uh, you know, like, Zenigata. And uh, actually Rupan. <laughs> and he goes away uh oh my god and then we see the fake rupan and his crew just you know like in in, in that uh, driving a uh, oil thing and lambda was in there lambda goes out and starts to like you know just kind of hover around and everything now okay here's the thing this part i feel like this is rupan in zenigata's disguise i think isn't it 
Like this part, I'm I'm unable to properly figure out. I feel like uh, like here's the thing. I feel like this whole episode Zenigata was not here at all. In the final scene was the where part where Zenigata came, isn't it? Like the next scene as well when we see Zenigata in in the train. Yeah, that's definitely Lupin because I don't think Zenigata is going to travel in a packed up train like that. He would probably just take his patrol car or something like that. I don't know. So I feel like this was also Rupan in disguise, Zenigata's disguise. But at this moment, I really did not think. Like, you know, now that I've watched the whole episode, I, I know that this, that that was Rupan in disguise. But at that moment, I genuinely thought that was Zenigata. But now I feel like that, that was also not Zenigata, that was Rupan. You know, he's just in the, in the train, just like looking at the map and he sees the thing for flying around. And Zenigata just goes in and just jumps on top of the uh you know like the tank and oh my god the army here is ridiculous what the hell is wrong with them they're shooting in a public place where there's a lot of people there just like what like these people should be fired like like i understand the emergency here but but like you, you're shooting in a like you know in a populated place where there's a lot of people like even if the robot doesn't kill the people your tank is going to kill people like what is wrong with you? You you oh my god! Like what is the main thing here? What is the main target here? To save the people, you know. That's why like the army is being like you know dispatched to stop the you know the robot. So if the army in itself starts killing the people like this, then what's the point? What what are you even doing? Like that that part I don't know why really bothered me. Like the the, the army just like just started firing and even like you know the people were in the car they didn't even tell them to evacuate just started like you know just trampling the car and just uh, ran the tank over everything oh my god and uh, yeah so and obviously the the whole place is getting like you know destroyed it's the 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 signboard or whatever falls down a kid was almost going to get trapped and um, the robot comes and you know, stops it. Zenigata or Rupan, I'm guessing here, you know, in, I'm guessing in Zenigata's disguise. I think that's, this is Rupan. He comes in and saves the kid. And uh, yeah, so yeah, this was Rupan from the beginning. Yeah, I understand it now because we see Rupan or Rupan in Zenigata's disguise take um what was it a motorcycle yeah and it was continuing from there so it, it that was rupan in zenigata's disguise he takes a motorbike starts following the lambda and obviously the fake rupan they're like what are you doing maki and maki's like i cannot do this i we are here to show the people the dangers and we're killing people here and they were like all right fine go come in here and you know like they use a fake thing to just you know, like trick Zenigata and or Rupan <laughs> and Rupan or in Zenigata's disguise, he, he, he like, you know, actually realizes that and goes in the um, building and gets, you know, like knocked out. So, okay. <laughs> And he gets captured and Maki comes in, he, he, Maki kind of gives him coffee and everything and he talks to Maki about the whole situation. At first he says like, oh, you're like, you know, like, what are you doing? Like, you're showing, um, like, you know, the people here, the, like, you know, you're trying to show the people here the dangers of the, like, you know, robot, but you're killing people in that, like, you know, while doing that. Like, like, what's wrong with you? You, like, you know, you, you're, you're helping out the killers. And Maki kind of gets like you know sad here. Like I I really don't understand the. This is a really weird reason, you know. Like she says like like here's the thing. Like he she says like she her dad made this, and then like you know the, this other party if I forgot the name. Uh, they come in and they kind of tricked his dad, and you know like was going to use this in military, but the dad didn't want it to happen, and. She talks about how the actual, well, like, you know, robot is a lot more dangerous than the Lambda. And she's like, I want to show everyone how terrible this is. And Rupan is like, isn't there any other way? 
Okay, she says I tried, but it was a military secret, right? Oh, okay, I understand why she is doing this. I really, it, I, I really, it took me a while to actually understand why she is doing this because I'm, I'm, re I was really confused. I'm like, what type of a way is this to make others realize that? um you know this thing is dangerous like just go outside and demonstrate it is, is that the reason how why you're doing this but it's it's a very weird way to do this you know but she says here i, I realize it now why she's doing this she says it's a military secret that means she as a normal person cannot interfere in it and she knows the dangers of using it so that's why she probably thinks that if if the robot is demonstrated like this maybe it's going to get scrapped and this is the only way because no other way is open to her because it's a military secret and he she's unable to interfere with this that's why he, she thought that Rupan these are the actual Lupan crew and he, she's uh, like you know uh, helping them out and they probably said that oh we're going to show the world how dangerous this is and and that's why she's uh, like, you know cooperating with them she doesn't know that their actual goal is something else and yeah she trusted them and like did it like that okay it makes more sense now uh, because it's a military secret she wouldn't be able to do anything in a normal way that's why she has to take this drastic step okay i understand now i it, it really was kind of you know bothering me why she is doing it in this way but now i understand and there you go she says my dad was killed and all the research materials have been classified there you go so she cannot do anything she's a normal citizen you know and then rupan comes in or the fake rupan comes in and she he's like oh then i came i'm i'm here to help and show the world and this and that and rupan the original one in zenigata's disguise just laughing it's like haha this is rupan what a, what a weird face you have you know this is definitely not rupan <laughs> And like uh, the real one has a blue birthmark on his bottom, and he, he's like, ah, I also have it. And then Rupan is like, ah, I lied. <laughs> That's how you know. I guess this is like the the most common way to actually like you know kind of trick, uh, not trick, but make other people, you know, like confess or like you know like just catch someone red-handed. Because if someone's impersonating someone, you just tell them that oh, you probably has have like you know like a birthmark over here. But you probably don't know that, do you? Now uh, the other person will be confused. They'll be like, wait a minute. Do, does he, the original one, actually have it? If he has it, you know, then I'm screwed because I don't have it. And even if he doesn't have it and I say that I have it, you know, I'm screwed either way. Like, you're screwed either way, you know? Like, <laughs> that's the thing. This is a very, um, like, you know, kind of a, a, a nice way to actually trick and get the people who are impersonating someone. And <laughs> the secret is out. Maki realizes what's happening. And Maki's like, uh, so you are tricking me. And they're like, yeah, we are actually demonstrating this to the world. And yeah, we are actually going to like, you know, I'm guessing they're going to sell it and everything, all that stuff they're going to do. And uh, that's why it's like, you know, like this is being shown in national television and media. So what better advertisement you can get, I guess you can say. And... <laughs> Yeah, that's why they were using her and she realizes that, you know, and in the end Rupan says like, yeah, I take everything back. You are not, um, you know, like you are not uh, a killer. Now, again, this part after this part, they, they put the bomb there. They run away and they put Maki in the uh, la Lambda and use like rigs it with bombs so that it would blow up. Maki will die and Zenigata here will also die. Now, again, this is another part which is a big giveaway that this is Rupan, but I wasn't able to catch it. He starts dislocating his body and <laughs> for a moment, I, I kind of thought that, wait, can Zenigata do these kind of things? He can dislocate his body? I never knew that. Um, and then it makes so much sense now that I know that it's Rupan. It's, it was because it was Rupan who was able to do something like that. He dislocated his body, probably his hand as well. And was able to get out of the ropes but at that moment i didn't realize that this is another big giveaway but i wasn't able to catch this at least at that moment and you know like the whole building kind of blasts and he jumps and gets on the lambda and takes the thing off and here's where i see you know <laughs> his face and i'm like wait a minute this doesn't look like zenigata 
who is this and then i'm like ah you got me this is actually rupan it has actually been rupan from the beginning as well and uh, <laughs> mark is like wait you're not zenigata and <laughs> rupan is like the real zenigata is in the airport and they kind of control it and probably just like you know land it and uh yeah now then we shift back to the fake rupan and his crew and <laughs> You know, they're, they're kind of counting money and everything and then we see in news it's saying that Rupan in the, on the, like, you know, <laughs> Rupan on the Lambda is kind of going and they that's when they realize that their game is over. Rupan is alive, uh, like, and Rupan is there and Maki is also alive because someone is uh, operating that Lambda and that's probably Maki. And they just grab their stuff and try to run away and in, like, you know, in the shadows Fujiko's just filming them. Because obviously you need some proof, like they can say something else and like, you know, just, uh, you know, like put the blame on Rupan. They might say that, oh, like, you know, all these things we have not done. Like, where's the proof that the, the others were actually not the original one, but them? There's no proof. So they, they needed that uh, tape, you know, and Fujiko did that. Because in the tape, they caught them actually confessing that they are not the original ones. And they have been doing this from the beginning. <laughs> And yeah, they come out, from, like, you know, the original Lupin and his crew is there. And oh boy, like, as soon as the original people just come in, they are just scared and just, just stands there, dumbfoundedly. Uh, the Lupin, like, you know, the fake Lupin was a bit too, you know, uh, you can say, courageous, a little bit more uh, courageous, you can say, or stupid, if you think of it in that way, because he actually tried to shoot them with the original people here. And yeah, they just took them out in a matter of seconds. Goemon just snapped off all their, like, you know, clothings, uh, the fake Goemon's clothings. And... <laughs> but the dad was like, nope, I'm going to do something here. He just goes there, starts operating the Sigma. I think that's what it's called. And <clears throat> it comes out and Maki probably just tweaked it or did something, you know. That's why it started targeting him. And... <laughs> Maki then comes and he, she's like, yeah, I programmed this to self-destruct and destroy this whole place. So yeah, everything's going to just go off and just breaks the thing, the control panel or whatever that was. And yeah, everything's burning, everything's over, you know. Um, Maki and Lambda is seen taking, like, you know, the criminals and coming out. And uh, <laughs> then Gata was like, huh, them using Lupin's, you know, name, what fools. And he's like, where's the original one? <laughs> Mark is like, they're gone. <laughs> and then we see they are you know, going away. And Fujiko is also there. And everyone's there. Fujiko in a motorbike. Them in, in the car. And uh, yeah. That's where it ends. Really, what a, what a good end. And I think this is the final episode, isn't it? Of season, season 2? I think so. Yeah, most probably. So yeah, so that's it. That was uh, my reaction to episode number 153 and 155 of Rupan the Third Part 2. And this is the final uh, episode of season 2 that I'm going to react to. And again, I'm saying this again, you know, like I said this in the beginning as well. Uh, recommend me, you know, uh, episodes from season 3 that I'm going to react to from next week. One person can recommend me two episodes and eight people can rec like, you know, I'll take eight people's recommendings. That means total 16 episodes I'm going to react to from season 3. So each person can recommend me two uh, episodes and I'm going to do it in that manner. Like, you know, every person I'm going to do uh, in one video, I'm going to do their reaction. For example, if you recommend, I don't know, uh, episode 3 and episode uh, 10, I'm taking an example, episode 3 and 10. And then the next person recommends episode um, 7 and episode... Uh, uh, I don't know 25 then I'm going to react to episode 3 and 10 first in the first day because you know that's the one person recommended those two and then the next day I'm going to go to the next person and react to episode 7 and uh, 15 or 13 like as I said like that so I'm not going to do it in chronological order I'm going to do it by person every person's uh, like you know recommendation I'm going to do in one day so that's how I'm going to do this and yeah, as I said, definitely recommend me stuff and uh, because obviously I need at least two of them, two episodes to actually react <laughs> next week. Otherwise, I won't have anything to react. 
so like yeah definitely recommend and uh, yeah that's it so thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of rupan the third from uh, season three and uh, yeah recommend me in the comment section so see you guys next week until then goodbye and have a nice day